Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel today. So in today's video, I am going to be doing my makeup. It's just going to be a really simple, easy look, but I wanted to focus on the cream contouring and how I've been doing my cream contour lately. I've been getting into it more recently. It's never really been something that I ever did in my routine, but I'm kind of starting to like it. So I want to sit down and show you guys what I've been doing and hopefully maybe it helps you guys at home if you are wanting to get into contouring a little bit more as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started. For the cream contour, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer. This has a, um, a hoba oil in it um, and I've actually really liked this. I think they have two shades. I got the lightest shade that they have and it doesn't really have a shade name on it. What I like to do is I I actually, I don't go like this. I don't take the whole stick and go like that. I like to take the edge of it and right, like if you're stuck in your cheeks, um, right there, like right in the hollows is where you want to put that. You can see that that makes just a really clean line and it's a lot easier to work with it's not as messy because if you if you would go in like with the whole stick like this it just makes it look a lot muddier and you want just that nice clean line there so you can work it in right there again I'm gonna do it on the other side all right so I'm now gonna take my sponge and I'm just going to take the side of it and I'm gonna start to blend it in Now you can see that it gives me a slight shadow. You can always build it up to be more if you like. I think I might build it up just a little bit more, but I'm going in with a really light, like moisturizing tint for a foundation today. So I don't want it to be too heavy. All right, we're not done yet. Rest of the perimeter of the face. So I'm gonna take it at this end and I'm just going to mark, that's probably a little too much though. It'll be okay though. Mark the sides of my forehead. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna press that into the skin, kind of pushing it back into the hairline almost. You wanna make sure that you get that really nice and blended though because you don't want to have like one piece that's not blended in. And then I am going to just slightly do the jawline and the chin area. Last thing I'm gonna do the nose. Just gonna go down the sides a little bit. And I do like to, I gotta, this up a little bit. I do like to kind of go up here in the area kind of where my nose and my eyebrow connect. Again I just take my sponge. Another thing you can do which um, I'm not going to do today but if you are going for more for full coverage foundation you don't have to blend it out all the way. You can blend it out maybe a little bit and then apply your foundation and then blend it out with the rest of your face makeup. Um, because I'm going with a very light um, coverage today, I'm gonna to make sure that I have them all blended out really well. All right, so I'm gonna move on to my complexion products. I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector, and it just really helps to even out the skin tone. I'm going to take the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer um, and this is just going to kind of do a little bit more concealing on some blemishes that I have. This kind of brighten the inner corners and just conceal the under eyes a little bit. 
take my Fit Me Powder in Fair. This is going to add just a tad bit more coverage to the face um, since we barely have any coverage at all. I'm going to take my Blendiful, guys. This, I'm telling you, this is the best tool for um, applying powder to the face. I haven't quite figured out how to use it for like the rest of my products. Just doesn't turn out as well as using like brushes or sponge, but for powders, it's great. All right, so when you contour, I think that you should pair it up with a bronzer. Now for a while, I kind of did my bronzing contouring together using a powder bronzer. But since I've been doing this more, even though the, the Physicians Formula um, bronzer stick is a bronzer, I use it as a contour base and then I do go over it with a powder bronzer. So I'm actually gonna use, kind of funny, the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Then I just kind of warm up the face a little bit more. I use the bronzer, the butter bronzer, to just kind of warm up the face a little bit more to kind of tie in that contour with the bronzer. And it smells so good too. Mm, it just, this reminds me of like laying on the beach with uh, some sort of drink in my hand and just sunbathing. Like this is what summer smells like. Or at least going to the beach smells like. I'm going to do my forehead, go across the jawline and the chin and bring it down. I don't usually use this bronzer a whole lot. So I think I need to get a just a shade darker in the butter bronzer. And so I never use this, but it's good for these kind of days where you don't want anything too heavy. You just kind of want a light sun-kissed glow on the face. And so there's that. That's how I kind of cream contour and bronze. I'm going to finish up the face though. I'm going to go in with some peachy blush. This is from CoverGirl. This is their peach punch blush. And this also smells, it smells like peaches. It smells so good. And then I'm going to use my fan brush for the blush. I have loved doing this lately. I feel like it just gives you a little bit more of a natural airbrush look with the blush. You still ha you have to go pretty light handed though just as if you were gonna go in with a blush brush because some blushes can be pretty pigmented and you don't want that to create a weird um, shape in the cheeks like it did the other day when I made my video. Can't remember what video that was. I was, I was, I was trying to be a little bit more bold with my Valentine's makeup and it just created a weird shape in my cheeks. So definitely go light-handed, but it just gives a really nice flawless look and then I do like to bring my blush up into my temples just because it kind of blends everything together and you don't have just that like streak of blush. I am going to take a little bit more of the concealer here apply it to my eyelids and take a little bit of the bronzer on a fluffy brush and I'm going to use this as my transition shade for eyeshadow. All right then I'm going to go back into the blush using kind of a flat fluffy brush and this is going to go into the crease and kind of build it up on the lower lash line. All right, I'm going to kind of bring the blush a little bit more inwards. I go in with my Wet n Wild on edge long wearing pencil and this is in the shade Wooden You Know. It's just a nice brown shade. So for mascara today, I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I really wanted to use my L'Oreal one today, but I've got some other mascaras that don't get loved enough, so I'm going to use this one today. I'm going to move, do my eyebrows. I'm going to be using my Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. This is actually a new pencil. I actually got deep brown. I usually do the medium brown, but this one is deep brown. So I, because I wanted to try a little bit of a darker color um, and see how it works. So let's go ahead and do the eyebrows. Right, 
eyebrows are done, but I'm going to move on to lips. Go in with my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Whips Caviar. For gloss, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Glowing Lip Gloss in Shall We Dance. Alright, so next up I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill Mood Light um, Highlighter. This is in Brighten Up. And I'm just going to kind of dust this all over my face. It's just it's going to give me a really nice luminous finish to the face. Just going to buff that all over. kind of brings back a little bit more of the dewiness. I'm going to kind of build it up a little bit more on the high point of the cheeks just so that we can get a little bit more of a glow. And there we have it. I am going to set the face with my ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. I just forgot to bring it in here with me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I have been doing my cream contour lately and I've been really, really enjoying it. Um, so if you guys want to see more videos, like down below and let me know. Love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!